Alright, hey guys, uh, so I'm here to make another video because I have no life. And in this video, I'm going to talk about creating a double exposure effect inside of Premiere Pro. Now this effect can be used with both videos and photos, but for this tutorial, I'm going to stick to videos. Um, I'm actually also going to make another tutorial for doing a double exposure in photos and uh, make sure you watch out for that. In fact, it'll probably be my next video, but yeah, I have nothing really else to say. Now let's get to work. All right, first off, you wanna import both of your clips onto the timeline. Perhaps the easiest way to do this would be to just change the blending mode of this layer to something like screen or lighting or something like that. But that doesn't always work and number two it won't give you a pure like clean cut double exposure effect it'll give you like um like a translucent sort of double exposure so if you want like a clean cut double exposure then you want to use the method that i'm going to show you now but if you're going for like a very translucent sort of double exposure effect well then you can go ahead and use uh the blending mode method okay so now let's get into the clean cut double exposure effect so first, you want to go into your effects tab and you want to search up threshold. Now you want to drag this onto your top clip. Now you want to go to your effects control panel. So you want to go all the way down to a threshold tab right here. And next you want to adjust the values. Once you've got that down, you want to go into your effects tab again and you want to search up color key. Again, you want to drag this onto the top clip. Now you want to click on this eyedropper tool and you want to click on this black portion right here. Now you want to increase the color tolerance and there you go, that's about it. So yeah, that's about it for this video guys. I hope you guys really liked the video. If you did, make sure you give this video a like and hit the subscribe button and you might want to check out some of my other videos, so I'll leave links to those at the end of this one.